the best app for staying on top of your to-dos might just be OmniFocus. But if you've struggled to make OmniFocus stick, it's not you. OmniFocus has a really steep learning curve, and that's because of its unique approach to time management. In this video, I will demystify the OmniFocus approach to time management so we can make it work for you. I'm gonna start over here in OmniFocus on the Mac in my inbox. Here's something that I need to do today or want to do today, which is to sign up for a charity Padel tournament. I love to play Padel, it's so fun. You should try it if you haven't already. We've got a charity tournament going on. I just need to sign up for it. That's not something that's gonna take that long, but I don't wanna do it right now because I don't wanna interrupt my workflow. So I just wanna write it down as something I wanna do later today, okay? Now, when I'm adding this task to OmniFocus, you'll see that there's this planned field over here. And I can just say today, and maybe I wanna do this today at 8 p.m., you know, this evening, boom. And now what are we gonna see? Well, I can head over to the so-called forecast perspective. You'll see that I've got today over here and today is showing to-dos that are on my to-do list for today, as well as calendar events, because I've connected OmniFocus with my calendar. Calendar. Here we see tomorrow and the day after and so on. And so this task shows up here because I've planned it for today. And so you'll see that in this bar sidebar over here, it's called the inspector, okay? I have a date field called defer. I have another date field called planned. That's the one we just assigned. And I have another date field called due. And if you don't see planned over here, by the way, what you might have to do is go to this tiny, tiny button at the bottom right over here. <laughs> click that and then click edit inspector layout. And you're gonna get this kind of screen or maybe you'll see this screen first and you just have to click on inspector over here. Go and find plan date. It might sit all the way at the bottom and just sort of drag it around like this until it sits in between defer and do. That's what makes the most sense to me anyway. Huh? By setting the planned date to today, this task is gonna go on my to-do list for today. Now, if you've used OmniFocus before, you might know or, or realize that this plan feature is very new. It's actually still in beta when I'm recording this, but it should come out publicly soon. And it used to be a lot harder to do this in OmniFocus, so this is great. But what are these defer and due dates for? And why are there three types of dates when most other apps have just one? Well, this is what makes OmniFocus unique in terms of time management, and it is why it might just be the best app for you. Let me show you what can go wrong when there isn't this and why other apps might not fit the bill for your needs. And what I'm gonna do is just pop over to Apple Reminders. So that's the Reminders app that comes with your iPhone, your iPad, your Mac, okay? If I enter the same task over here in Apple Reminders, sign up for Charity Padel Tournament. I can click this I circle. I get something that's similar to the inspector in OmniFocus. And here you'll see that there's a date field and I can set that date to today, which it's set to right now, or I can set it to tomorrow, okay? But here's a question for you. Let's say a colleague comes over and says, hey, hey, remember to sign up for this charity Padel tournament by tomorrow, otherwise you can't participate. What am I gonna put for the date field? I'd like to get round to it today, but like I really have to do it by tomorrow. Tomorrow's the deadline for this. So do I, for the date field, do I choose tomorrow or today? Hmm, I don't know. If I choose today, right, maybe I won't remember, was I just planning to work on this today or was today the last day that I had to do this? So that's really tough. But if I go back to OmniFocus, what I can do is I can use the due field, the due date. There's a hard deadline for tomorrow. So I'll just type tomorrow. And now what you're gonna see is the due date is set to tomorrow and OmniFocus uh, lists the due date and it highlights it. And this allows you to distinguish between when you plan to work on something and when there's a hard deadline. And that's so important because otherwise you might be tempted to assign lots of fake due dates to everything. But before you know it, your to-do list for today is full of 35 overdue tasks, none of which are actually the end of the world. So it's really important to be able to distinguish when something has to be done and when you'd like to do it so that you can actually focus on what needs my attention now, like what really needs my attention now or things are gonna go wrong. This is a very simple example, of course, but here's another one. I'm consulting for someone tomorrow. And so before I have that call with him, I wanna review my notes, you know, on what we talked about before, okay? so. Here you can see the calendar event for the consultation and then I added a task previously to review my notes for this call and I set the due date and the due time to be half an hour before my call tomorrow. And OmniFocus therefore by default is gonna show me that task under tomorrow, Friday in the forecast perspective, okay? But if I wanted to, I could set the plan date to today and then it would also show up on my to-do list for today, okay? I don't wanna do it today. So I'll just click the X over here Hit Command K, it's the shortcut to clean things up again. 
and now it'll sit at tomorrow. Let's do the full day planning routine. How do you plan a productive day in OmniFocus? For this, we're gonna go over to the available perspective. That's a custom perspective that I've set up. You do need to have the pro version of OmniFocus for this, but it's a custom perspective that's really helpful for your daily planning routine. And I actually have an OmniFocus course that I've been teaching for six years now, and over a thousand people have enrolled in this course. And if you enroll in my course, you're gonna learn immediately how to set that up, how to plan your day. You're going to learn everything about OmniFocus so you can get on top of your to-dos. That's by far the quickest way. Let's go over to the available perspective. I won't show you how to set it up right here, but what this does is it shows me all of my to-dos that are actionable right now, and it hides the ones that are not actionable right now. So every morning I can look at this and be like, okay, these are the things that would make sense to work on today. Let's pick some and add them to my to-do list for today. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So I'm just going to scroll through this and this one catches my eye. I need to review a draft partnership contract. I definitely want to do that today. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over to the inspector and I can click this button right here, which means today. By the way, plus one day moves it to tomorrow, okay? But this one means today. And so if I do that and I go back over to forecast, now this task sits right here in my today section of the forecast perspective. And what I like to do is to highlight maybe the top one, two, or three tasks for the day by flagging them. So I'll press this button and then I'll flag it and you'll see that it gets highlighted. You know, this is one of the most important things I want to do today. All right, let's go back to available because I can definitely do more than this today. This is a good one. Onboard new team member. That's something I want to do tomorrow. So I'm going to set the plan date. I'm just going to click plus one that defaults to tomorrow. And that's definitely going to be one of my most important things for tomorrow. Okay, so now that's set for tomorrow. I'll do that tomorrow morning. Great. But what else might I like to do today? All right, let's have a look. I just want to be able to use my Apple Watch to unlock my password manager on the Mac Studio. I haven't been able to make that work. And so that's something that, again, I'd like to do that today, but maybe this evening, okay? So I can just go ahead and drag that and make that one of the, the later things that I do today. All right, let's see what else might we like to do. Here's one. More than 100,000 of you now subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. If you're one of the 100,000 people, I received this thing from YouTube, a play button, and I just need to put that up on the wall over there. So that's something I'd like to do today. But if you're already a subscriber, thanks so much. I feel so grateful that I get to make these videos for you. And if you're not already a subscriber, now would be a good time to subscribe. All right, so that's something that I'd like to do today. So I'm just gonna plan that for today. Okay, let's see what else I might wanna do. I'm seeing this project sitting right here. I'm going on a trip to Glasgow and hey, there's something I need to do that I just thought of. I need to apply for a UK ESTA. It's one of these like sort of visa like, but not a visa thing. And I've set a due date for the whole project. And as a task in that project, this task inherits the due date, but it's something that I, I should probably do today. I don't wanna leave that until the last minute, okay? So I'm gonna have that planned for today as well. And you'll see that I'm focusing in on this particular project right now by selecting it in the sidebar over here, but I'm still in the available perspective. You can see it's highlighted. If I just click out of the project, I'm back in the, the rest of the available perspective. So what's something else that I'd like to do today? There's a cool calendar app I like to use called Fantastical. Now it has a new feature, but email forwarding, I'd like to try that out. Let's do that today as well. And here's a big one. I'm giving a speech in my Toastmasters club on Wednesday and I need to rehearse the speech. So I got a project for that as well. And the next available task in this project is to rehearse the speech. I'd like to do that today. So I'm gonna set that to plan to today and you'll see it has a deadline. Deadline is the day before I give the speech, but obviously we don't want to leave rehearsing the speech until the day of the speech, right? And then I'm gonna flag that because it's important. Now I want to show you something else that's cool about OmniFocus, and this is why the available perspective is cool. You'll see that it looks like in this project, there's only one task, which is to rehearse the speech, right? But actually, if I go over to projects and I go over to in the Toastmasters folder, Toastmasters is a public speaking club I'm a member of, you know, here's my project for prepare the speech. It's about history and democracy. I've actually got a bunch of tasks. I need to rehearse the speech. Then I want to record a video of one of my rehearsals, send it to my friend Sabi, who has been a, a European champion of public speaking before, so he knows what he's doing. And this year he's going for, for world champion, so good luck, Sabi. I wanna get some of his feedback 
and you know, and then keep rehearsing until I'm ready. So there's a, a sequence of steps, but I've made this what's called a sequential project in OmniFocus. We don't need to get into that right now, but it just means I gotta work through these things in this step. These other things are not actionable. Implementing Sabi's feedback is not actionable until I first rehearsed, recorded a video, sent it to him and so on. So back in the available perspective, I'm only seeing the actionable part of this project. This is OmniFocus's great strength, okay? So let's say that this is enough to work on today. Let's just drag these things in the order that I wanna do them. First, I wanna review the draft partnership contract, then rehearse the speech, then I'll go to the gym, and then I'm just gonna select all of these. Then I'm gonna do those things, but before my meeting tonight, I probably won't get round to these, so, so let's do these things later in the day. Okay, so now I've got an integrated plan for my day. One thing we haven't done yet is talked about the defer date, right? So we've set the plan date, it makes sense. I'm planning to work on this today and the due date, all right? This is the hard deadline, okay? But there's also the defer date. So what's that for? Let me show you. I'm gonna go over to my projects perspective and then I'm gonna go over to this single action list I've got over here. Now, as a business owner, I have to periodically file my tax returns. So for for me, that's value added tax returns. For you, maybe that's sales tax returns. And let's say this is something I have to do monthly. Right now, I'm in the month of July. I'm going to collect a bunch of uh, value added tax. And then in August, I need to file my tax return with the government. And so I have to do that latest August 31st by the end of the next month, right? But of course, you know, even though this is due August 31st, right now this task is showing as available in OmniFocus. It's not grayed out. If I go to available and I go to my admin and finance a single action list, hey, file value added tax return showing up as a task I could work on today, but I can't because I'm still in the month of July. So if I, to be more specific, this is the July value added tax. I can't file it until the month is over. Earliest I could do this is August 1st. And that's what the defer date is for. I'm gonna set it to August 1st and you'll see it gets grayed out. And now if I hit Command K to kind of refresh my screen, it leaves the available perspective. Back in the projects perspective, here it sits, okay? August 1st is the first day that I could work on this and that's what the deferred date is for. It's saying, this is deferred until the future, doesn't make sense. I don't even wanna consider working on this today because I can't do it. Of course, I can then also set a plan date. If I'm like, you know what? August 5th seems like a good day to do this. I can put it on my plate for August 5th like this. Now, because this is something I do periodically, I can also set it up with a repetition schedule. Just go add repetition, set the frequency to month, and then there's a few things to customize. And if you wanna learn how to customize those things, my OmniFocus course is gonna teach you all about it. Another one of those things where there's a bit of a learning curve, but once you're using it, it really works like a charm. The key, of course, to planning my day is the available perspective. And if you wanna learn how to set that up, you can download my free OmniFocus cheat sheet, both the link to the cheat sheet, free cheat sheet, and my full OmniFocus course, if you wanna take a shortcut, are in the description of the video. Go ahead and check those out and have a great day. I'll see you next time. Ciao.